This is a good day, yes, I need To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Right, so it's me Desi Backpacker. I've just come back from Myanmar. I was there for 10 days. What an incredible place. From floating village of Inle Lake to beautiful 4,000 and plus pagodas of Bagan. The sunset and sunrise in every place is amazingly beautiful. Since it's a relatively new country to tourism, considering the negative impact of tourism around the world, very good time to be there because very soon things will be changing. Uh, uh, so if you are planning to go Myanmar or if Myanmar is in your bucket list, you go as soon as possible. In this video, I will share what all I did in 10 days in Myanmar. The places I stayed in the food I ate, uh, the travel itinerary I followed, the location I visited, what all I did and how cost efficient it was. Um, I'm a solo backpacker. I, I travel uh, on a budget. So if you are doing the same thing, uh, it will be really good to understand and get a proper idea about it. Enough of talking. Let's watch this video. I flew to Myanmar, Mandalay with a stopover in Bangkok. Benefit of working for an airline, you get to fly business class for really cheap. Round trip from Bangkok to Myanmar will cost you close to 200 to 300 US dollars. Depending on your country, you will have to apply for e-visa. Utilize share shuttle for a cost of 5 dollars per person to reach Mandalay city center. After all the traveling, on day one, I just chose to sleep. Hi guys, good morning. It's 4 a.m. here in Mandalay and I have come to see golden buddha getting facial and brush next day morning i woke up really early to visit mahamuni temple it's a must especially early morning because nowhere else in the world you get to see big buddha getting facial i also managed to bargain and convince this super sweet scooter guy to take me around in Mandalay for just $35. Climbing Mandalay Hill is a very popular thing to do in Mandalay. I saw these locals dressed beautifully and they were singing and dancing and enjoying the entire festival. After this, explore some not so famous some monasteries around because they are really beautiful and you won't find that many tourists. Only some locals just sitting and enjoying their own time. Myanmar is an incredibly safe country. Most of the population is Buddhist and with a belief in karma, crime levels are exceptionally low. See world's largest book. It's not a book of paper pages. It's a book that has been engraved on 730 large tablets of stone. Hard-working locals working on some magnificent piece of art. Truly, these artworks are extraordinary. They were so beautiful. Around 5 pm, we reach Ubian Bridge. It's the world's largest teak wood bridge and really a cool spot to capture some nice Instagram photographs. Hey guys, so over here with this Myanmar beer, there's a lucky draw. I don't know what it says. On the first beer, I didn't win anything. And on the next one, I won this. And I was wondering why does it say the name of the beer? So, when you order two beers, the third one is free and that's my amazing neighbor. Locals are really friendly and found that they are extremely welcoming. After enjoying my beer and delicious Burmese food, it was time to sleep. Because next day, I had to wake up early at 5am to catch my Sunrise Irabudi River cruise to Bagan. Of course, there are other ways to reach Bagan. But this cruise is a different experience altogether. Cruise started at around 5am. This cruise will cost you $50 per person and I will share the link below. I enjoyed breakfast and lunch served on upper deck while sunbathing and reading all the way till Bagan.
This cruise on the way to Bagan also stops on a village and it's a really good experience to see how these villagers live. Depending on the location of a hotel or hostel, once you reach Bagan from this cruise, make sure that you arrange a shared taxi. Hi guys, remember yesterday, uh, the lucky drove by this uh, Myanmar beer brand. I won a free beer and today, I won 500 local currency. It's cool. Accommodation in Bagan is spread across two main regions, New Bagan and Nyongyu. Most of the backpackers accommodation is in New Bagan. I can recommend Ostelo Belo if you want a backpacker vibe. You can get around Bagan by walking or cycling but the best way to get around is by e-bike. There are electrical scooter with a maximum speed of 40 km per hour and you can rent for almost $5 per day. Needless to say, catching the sunrise in Bagan is definitely worth waking up early for. The hot air balloon rides are probably one of the most expensive in the world, around $400 to $300. Be sure to factor in extra days in Bagan if this is something you would really want to experience. So that's how we take crazy for <laughs> The temple studded plains of Bagan is hands down the most incredible place in all of Southeast Asia and primarily one of the reason I wanted to visit Myanmar. The entire highlight of my stay in Myanmar was all about magical sunrise and sunset. Here's a quick video to give you an example. I love the street food in Myanmar. They are really affordable, around one to two dollar for plate for something, for something really basic. Restaurant costs around two to four dollars a meal. Anything remotely Western, air conditioning or featuring something like pizza and you are into like 7 to 12 dollars a bracket. Drinks, bottled water is uh, well priced under 50 cents a litre. Beer is also cheap at a couple of dollars. In my opinion, the real Bagan can only be reached with a bit of off-roading. There are plenty of stunning isolated temples where you will be the only person exploring. There are so many amazing temples in Bagan that honestly it's hard to give recommendation. My recommendation is to simply get an e-bike and to head off into a bush to get away from the bus to resorts and discover some incredible temples all for yourself. I would highly recommend spending at least 3 days in Bagan. Riding e-bike around the pagoda field and visiting temple is an experience certainly not to be missed. You can use two currencies in Myanmar's dollars and their local currency chat. If you are going to use dollars, make sure that you don't fold your dollars and they have to be really brand new, unfolded, uncreased and newer than 2006. You might also have trouble changing notes with AB and CB serial numbers. There are ATMs and they mostly work. A round trip arranged by a hostel to Mount Pupa will cost you $15. Visit Mount Pupa for sunset view. A 777 steps all the way to the top will certainly be worth it once you are at top. I shared a taxi to reach Bagan Airport from my hostel for almost $3 per person. One thing that I forgot to mention is the entry fee for Bagan and Inlay. This fee is charged to all foreigners and there is no getting around it. The fee for Bagan is $20 and for Inlay Lake is $10. I flew from Bagan to Inlay Lake with KBZ Airline and the flight fare was really cheap, almost $50 per person. If you are staying in Myanmar for longer, I would highly recommend using bus services provided by your hostels.
have a mind holding another scrap tree to see when it was dead but check that for what can we have to end up to keep some projects in the queue Another most famous location that is not to be missed in Myanmar is Inde Lake Watch the fishermen rowing with one leg their hands being used for adjusting the basket they use to catch fish a way of fishing that is unique to this lake Relax on a boat on this huge lake with the deep blue water surrounded by mountains and enjoy seeing locals life pass you by When in Inle Lake, try to stay in Hostel Obello Nyongshe Hostel, where the dorms are for ten dollars and include a fantastic breakfast. A great way to experience a new culture is to learn some of the local recipe of the area. Spend a morning shopping at the nearby food market before heading off to the traditional kitchen, where you will prepare your very own lunch with a local family. You will get to try your hand at some of the local techniques used in the kitchen while cooking up five traditional Myanmar dishes all under the watchful eye of a beautiful chef. On your second day in Inle Lake, hire a bicycle like I did just for $2. Visit some markets and villages around. Visit their beautiful countryside. It is a wonderful feeling to be detached from the western world and surrounded by the sounds of nature. Spending at least 3 days in Inle is a good choice. One for a boat trip and second for cycling and relaxing around. They say no visit to Myanmar is complete without a visit to this 2500 years old Shwedagong Pagoda in Yangon. And you would certainly agree if you are there. Shwedagong is literally translated to Gold Yangon and is thought to be the oldest and one of the most holy shrine in the country. It is like a Buddhist Disneyland, a huge compound of hundreds of temples and buddhas from the past 2500 years old, all with a different meaning. Many people have a misconception that it is just one big temple. The main pagoda is being refurbished at the time and visited, so I only got to see glimpses of the gold. but even that was impressive so i can imagine how great it looks in the sparkling sun when it is all uncovered one of the tip that i would like to give is take a bag for your shoes shoes socks flip flop etc are not allowed in the entire area and it's hassle to carry them around dress code has to be modest both male and females must have knees ankles and elbows covered What did I like about Myanmar? Almost everything. What do I miss about Myanmar? Almost everything. One last tip that I would like to give is just go to Myanmar with an open heart and open mind. You will fall in love with it. Uh if you like this video, you know what you have to do. Subscribe to my channel as well for more exciting travel tips and travel videos and comment below why Myanmar is in your bucket list. You might have something else that you want to do. Uh I would love to hear your feedbacks and comments and love you all. Peace out. Ciao.